let's solve uh, this equation, which is a equation in uh, complex numbers. Okay, so the question is find all solutions to this equation, which is z minus 2 to the power 4 is 256z to the power 4. So I'm going to divide both sides by z to the power 4, so this will become z minus 2 to the power 4 over z to the power 4 is 256. Okay, so this has a power of 4 and this has also a power of 4, so they all can be together like this in a bracket. So this is z minus 2 over z, the whole to the power of 4 is 256. I want to reduce this power, so I will take the square root. So square root of z minus 2 over z to the power of 4 is plus or minus, when you, whenever you take the square root of a number, you take the plus or minus square root of that number. Uh, as suppose if it is x squared is equal to 4, as a math student or as a calculus student, you should know x is plus or minus square root of 4, okay, which is the complete truth, which is plus or minus 2. So whenever you are taking the square root of a number, you have to write plus or minus. By default, if you do square root of 256 on a calculator, that will give you 16. But that's not the complete answer. It is plus or minus 16. Because 6, 16 squared gives you 256. So let me show you that. So square, if you do on a calculator, shift square root of 256, you'll get only one answer. But the complete answer is plus or minus 16 because 16 squared gives you 256. And minus 16 in the bracket, of course, squared also gives you 256. So that's why you need to write both the answers. So, and when you're finding the square root of a fourth power, you have the second power. So you have z minus 2 over z squared is plus or minus 16. So I'll branch out two equations from here. So this is z minus 2 over z, the whole squared is plus 16, or z minus 2 over z to the power 4 squared is equal to minus 16. I will do this later. This is a bit complicated, so let us do this easy part. Let me change color for the sake of changing. So again, square root of both sides, so square root of z minus 2 over z squared is plus or minus square root of 16. So again, when you're taking the square root of a squared, the squared gets removed, so that is z minus 2 over z is 4, or z minus 2 over z is negative 4. So what will happen now, so this is cross multiplying, or multiplying both sides by z, z minus 2 is equal to 4z. Now taking away z, 4z from both sides, you can say z minus 4z is equal to, and adding 2 to both sides. Okay, so let me show you that step. So what you're doing is you're taking away 4z from this side, so you take away 4z from this side. You're adding 2 to this side, so you add 2 to this side. So what's happening? So this one just gets cancelled and uh, with red color. So this is z minus 4z and this and this also gets cancelled. So what remains is is equal to 2. Okay, so this is minus 3z is equal to 2. If you multiply minus 1 to both sides, you can say 3z is negative 2. So z1 is negative 2 over 3. So this is the first root, minus 2 over 3. The same process here, cross multiplying or multiplying z to both sides, z minus 2 is equal to four, negative 4z. Four now adding 4z to both sides and adding 2 to both sides, I can write z plus 4z is equal to 2. So I can say 5z is equal to 2. 
So Z2 is 2 fifths. So these are the two roots and now we have to find the other two roots. Now how do I know two, there are other two roots? Because this is a fourth power. So this is an equation of fourth power. So we have to have four solutions or four uh, roots. So if possible, let me highlight this. Yes, I can copy and try to paste it here. Okay, so I'll try to paste here. Uh, uh, I could paste, I don't know, uh, let me write that, okay, z minus 2 over, I wanted to paste it, so this is z minus 2 over z is squared is equal to negative 16. Okay, so this is same as 16 times negative 1, 16 times negative 1, okay. Now, by definition, you should know i, which is an imaginary number, is square root of negative 1. So, i squared is negative 1. So, in place of negative 1, I can put i squared. So, this is 16i squared. So, again, taking square root of both sides, so square root of z minus 2 over z squared is plus or minus square root of i squared is a number okay 16 i squared is a number which is a complex number 16 i squared is nothing but negative 16 so this is nothing but plus or minus 4 i so now you have to branch out again to so i can say z3 is no sorry not z3 here yeah, i don't want to use z3 so can i say z minus 2 over z is equal to 4i and or z minus 2 over z is equal to minus 4i okay so now cross multiplying or multiplying z to both sides so you can get z minus 2 is 4zi so adding uh, taking away 4zi from both sides and adding 2 to both sides, I can say z minus 4zi is equal to 2. So factoring out the z, I can get 1 minus 4i is equal to 2. Okay, so what will happen now? Is equal to? Two. Okay, so what will happen? Uh, so I can say uh, Z3 is 2 over 4, sorry, oops, I will use a smaller eraser. This is a smaller eraser, okay, <laughs> so this is uh, 1 minus 4i. Now this is a complex number but when you're writing the complex number they, you're expected to write the real part and the imaginary part. Now here the problem with this number though it's a complex number you haven't haven't uh, separated the real and the imaginary number and that can be done by rationalizing this number or this form by multiplying by the conjugate of the denominator. So the conjugate of 1 minus 4i is 1 plus 4i. So you have to multiply 1 plus 4i to both the numerator and the denominator. So z3 is 2 times 1 plus 4i over, this becomes difference of two squares which is 1 minus 16i squared. So z3 is 2 plus 8i over 17 because i squared is negative 1 and minus 16 times negative 1 is plus 17. So z3 is 2 over 17 plus 18 over 17i. So this is what the third root. Okay, so other root. So let us work this out. So let me use a different color. So this is z minus 2 
is equal to minus 4 c i. So, same thing. So, z plus 4 c i is equal to 2. Uh, taking the z out, that is 1 plus 4 i over 2. So, z is 2 over 1 plus 4 i. Are we doing something wrong? No, that's right. So now you have to multiply by the conjugate of this, which is nothing but 1 minus 4i over 1 minus 4i. So z4, I'll write now z4. I could have written z4 here. So z4 is 2 minus 8i over 1 minus 16i squared. So this will become z4 is 2 minus 8i over 17 because 16i squared becomes minus uh, minus 16i squared will become plus 16 and 1 plus 16 is 17. So your z4 is 2 over 17 minus 8 over 17i. So these are the four roots of this equation. Okay. And you can also graph this. And when you graph these numbers, to graph it, you have to change this into a polar form. This, of course, is a real number. And these two are uh, imaginary numbers. And you can change this into polar form. And then there will be a geometry in these roots. So you can do that yourself. See you in the next video.